ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies for her father. What? I can't hear you! But the forest greeted them with a dark huh? silence. The bush is empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished. Resident Evil 8! Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over Resident Evil 8. Under branch and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? 100%. Quit being One. paranoid. 100%. No, no! Friendly! Ow. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Come on. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking hell, place. look at this shit! It's cut like a Resident Evil trailer, too. Give me this shit in VR, man. Let's go. Oh my god. Give it to me in VR. Let me... Everything. Everything. I love everything about this so far. I love everything. I love everything about this. That was, is that me? That's, that's me. Everything, give me it. Resident Evil 8. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. <laughs> Why? Let's go. Okay. Chris? I'm super, I, oh, I'm super excited after seeing that shit. Oh my god, dude. Yes! Okay, feeling better! I'm feeling better! <laughs> oh, dude, Resident Evil 8 comes out in 2021. So this is not... We'll have to replay Resident Evil 7, which will be cool. But 2021. No, no, Damn, rough-ass frame rate, dude. What the fuck? Who are you? Why is it running at like 15 FPS? What the hell is going on? I was hoping it was a stream issue, but it's not. It's in the core trailer. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about the performance. Yeah, all the leaks from that dude were true. All the leaks were true. Uh, I'm super down, right? I'm super down. I hope, I, I hope they figure out the performance stuff before it comes out. This will most likely come out on PC at the same time as PlayStation 5. It's just that the PS5 most likely is going to have it be in VR. I, I think this has to be VR, but they, there is obviously no... No VR helmet, right? Yeah, you can't- that FPS in VR would, won't be okay, right? That is not okay. It's already been confirmed for Xbox and PC. Well, that makes sense. Uh, let me actually check, uh, Capcom Unity. Check out a trailer for the taste of the desperate struggle of survival that will unfold with the power of next generation consoles. Amazing detail that only Capcom's in-house RE engine can provide. Taking place a few years after the critically acclaimed RE7, Ethan Winters and his wife Mia seem to have finally found peace after the horrifying events they endured at the Baker's family plantation house. Despite putting the past behind them, a surprising and familiar face returns in the form of Chris Redfield, whose shocking actions ultimately caused Ethan to end up in a mysterious snow-covered village. Interesting. Under the claustrophobic hallways of the Baker Mansion, Resident Evil Village provides a different kind of terror, the fear of the unknown. Each encounter is another fight for survival, with a first-person perspective making this, making things that m much more personal as you chart unknown territory. There's much more to Village than what you see on the surface. That's all we have for now. Please be sure to keep a close eye on RE. Coming PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC in 2021. Ah, uh, these are some, what the, what the fuck? What, what are these screenshots, dude? What are, what, are you are you shitting me? What? Why can't I? Why aren't they bigger? Are these screens. These are screenshots for ants. Uh, I mean, it looks great, right? Yeah. The no VR announcement has me worried. I mean, it looks very good. I wish I got an actual screenshot. 
and not some 720p screenshots. Next update coming August 2020. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Game ain't coming out. There's a low chance this game is coming out next year. Uh, yeah, this game is, is most likely early 2022. The shit is far away. And I, I think what we're seeing in the trailer, the performance issues we're seeing in the trailer might be representative of why this shit is tentative. We're gonna learn more about Resident Evil Village in August, but don't hold your breath. I think, yeah, late 2021 at the earliest is when we're gonna possibly see it. At least a year and a half from now is the earliest this game comes out. The very, very high likelihood that this game comes out maybe quarter one, maybe quarter two, 2022, this game's two years away. Yeah, that kind of stings. I was hoping that this was gonna be like a close to launch game for this, but I think the reason for this might actually be they might wanna catch up with PSVR 2. That would make sense. PSVR 2 needs to be out, right? That that needs to exist. That's cool. Uh, it's just that I don't wanna be, it's hard to be super excited about this game knowing that it's that far away. Tentative means that they think it'll come out in 2021. And thinking the game will come out in 2021 doesn't mean it comes out early 2021. That means that they hope they're gonna hit this year. Or they hope they're gonna hit the 2021 release year. But that's tentative, right? Or by putting tentative next to a whole 365 days doesn't mean you launch it in the first 90 days. It means like, all right, we don't know what's happening. And I think a lot of things in, a lot of the the, the performance issues that we were seeing in the trailer are sort of representative of that. There's, there's still some, they gotta work out some kinks. Rumors said that they restarted everything uh, a few months ago. I did hear about that, right? I did hear that this potentially was even Resident Evil Revelations 2 for a long time, but then they sort of revamped everything. Oh, sorry, Revelations 3. Yeah, I forgot Revelations 2. There was some rumors about there being another Revelations game somewhere down the line that some leaker was talking about. The same guy that was talking about this. And it, I do think it looks great in screenshot, but some of those performance issues, man, it was... Shit is like running at 15 frames per second. It's kind of hard to ignore that until it was like, oh, we're just going to stop and look at individual things and then it looks good. So I think that's a big reason. I think the game still needs some, game needs some, some polish.